Now, former French Prime Minister Manuel Valls is trying to reinvent himself as the mayor of Barcelona. He was born in Spain, but moved to France with his family as a boy, only to rise through the ranks of the French Socialist Party. But after a disastrous run in the last French presidential election, he set his sights on Spain. That makes him the first head of one European government to pursue a political career in another. Alison Sargent takes a look. His empty seat has become a fixture at the National Assembly, a sign that Manuel Valls has already moved on to new ambitions. Born to a Catalan father and Swiss mother, the former French prime minister has been reconnecting with his roots, making frequent public appearances in his native Barcelona, where he's expected to run for mayor. We always spoke Catalan in my family. I know about Catalan culture. After being rejected by socialist voters in France's 2017 primary, Valls has seen warm welcomes in Spain, even if voters don't know much about him. Ustedes saben que sigue siendo diputado en Francia ahora? Yo no tengo ni idea. To run for office in Barcelona, Valls will have to abandon his role as MP, leaving behind the constituency south of Paris, where he's been present for nearly two decades. I don't understand why he's leaving, when he should stay in France and be part of our political life. I'll miss him. He's a good man. Meanwhile, Valls's former opponent from the far left, who nearly won the seat herself, has already been calling for his resignation. For 14 months, we haven't had a representative to defend us. Valls is a political opportunist. He goes where the wind takes him. Along with his candidacy for mayor of Barcelona, Valls may also announce a Spanish political affiliation. An opponent of Catalan independence, Valls has been getting courted by the center-right Ciudadanos party. Now to talk more about this with me now, I'm joined on the set by Franco-Spanish lawyer Jean-Marc Sanchez. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, you are also the founder of the Franco-Spanish Commission at the Paris Bar. Uh, let's start with where that piece just ended out. Valls has been courted by the center-right party. Is that the party that he's going to throw his hat in with, do well, you think? Well, nobody really knows. I mean, Ciudadanos, this is a party you're talking about, which is a center-liberal right-wing political party and made an offer to Manuel Valls at the beginning of this year to join in. Now, the problem is that if it joins with Sudananos, it will be a very narrow approach, so it will probably be more interested in having a wider uh, um, group of, of people joining him, and that's probably what he's going to uh, say tonight. So how credible a candidate is Manuel Valls as mayor of Barcelona? Could he win? Well, he is to a certain extent. Uh, he is from Spanish Catalan descent. He was born in Barcelona. Uh, he left Barcelona four years ago, but he still has a very close relationship with the city. His sister lives there. Uh, his father was a very famous artist, and his family is quite well known. Now, the problem is, will he be able to make it? It depends upon the division of the uh, opponents. I mean, it's a very open scenario. Uh, he is a newcomer. He offers uh, something new, some fresh air, and he has uh, probably the vote of the people against the independence of Catalonia. Now, on the other side, most people believe he is an opportunist and is a, an outsider, he's a French outsider, and some people know about his background in France. So it's going to be quite a tricky challenge for him. So will the fact that he was a prime minister in France, will that help him or hurt him, do you think? It will help on one side and it will not on the other side. I mean, as far as the uh, unionists are concerned, yes, of course, they believe that he will be the one who will be able to talk loud against the independents. Now, on the other side, of course, they will be against him. Uh, there's probably one third of the population who just don't know who is Manuel Valls, and the two third are either on one side or the other side. We heard uh, one of the people there in that piece just a moment ago calling it an opportunist. Uh, you said yourself that critics say that about Manuel Valls. If he fails in Barcelona, could he still come back and have a career here in France? Well, I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm, I'm sure that he, he knows exactly what's going to happen. I mean, it's the last challenge. I mean, there's no exit. I mean, th this, is, this is the last chance he has. So I think he perfectly understands what's going to happen. And he knows that if he makes it, it will be uh, a, a new uh, life for him. It will be the new king of Barcelona. Uh, uh, in between the vetted brackets, on the other, and if he, if he, if he fails, uh, it will probably be the end of his political career in Spain and France too. Jean-Marc, thank you so much for coming thank in to you. speak to us. Jean-Marc Sanchez, Sanchez, je vais arriver. 